Hey folks, look at this coffee table that we covered with Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy. We actually picked this coffee table up at Walmart for just about $18. What we did will blow your mind. We actually sanded this, we got it prepped, and the mixed media girl and I made an amazing project. We use 3D metallic epoxy in our base color tints to create reactions that just rock this piece. We're going to show you step by step exactly how we got these amazing results. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com and enjoy the video. Okay, again, I'm with Mixed Media Girl. We're about to do a Walmart table. Yeah, I'm very excited. I went to Walmart this morning anticipating you coming and I said, we got to have something cool that we are going to remember mixed media girl by yeah. so you're going to show us what's up with with some colors you want to talk about the colors we're going to use Ooh, okay so we're going to use two new colors which are the purple mountain metallic and the crater lake so this is going to be like a really bright standout color and this will be just it's purple, you know. Nice. And then we have the deep silver and then the tropical turquoise. Okay. Uh, so I think these will all go really well well together. And then we're going to use the uh, white and black base tint. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is sand it with 60 grit. If I was going to use this as a long time countertop, it's always good practice to use bonding primer first. But we're going to just use the me mechanical bond of the epoxy to adhere yeah. to this this top. We got these at Walmart for $18 with legs, so it's going to be a great little coffee table. So we'll see what we can do. And all I'm doing is just roughing it up, but you can see how that 60 grit puts mm -hmm. nice nice grooves in it, you know. It's time to sand the table with 60 grit sanding discs and then we'll come back and wipe that dust to be sure to get rid of that excess dust before the next step. We're going to mix 3 ounces per square foot of our stone coat countertop epoxy, mix at a 1 to 1 ratio, then it's time to mix our colors. We're going to mix those metallics and those base color tints all in different cups and it's time to have some fun. I want to see what you got, Marcy. I want and no the, yeah, no, you 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 are awesome. So I like to pretty much start with um, maybe the white and black as kind of like a base of it. Very cool. Uh, these they, I mean, you probably learned, but they sell so well. They do. That's artists love these uh, yeah. base tints because they they sell out. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it's it creates cells of color. See what that's doing? Yeah, they just push it up against each other and just... They react with one another really well. I now want to do the purple. All right. Because it's a kind of a dark, it's pretty dark, so it's it'll kind of work with as like a base color. See, you have a plan in mind. I know I know you do. You You, you see this before you're even doing it. But I don't necessarily know that I do. That's cool. All that purple. And then we just do that. Yeah, there you go. Don't and you can see how well those base colors sell out as opposed to the metallics, you know? They, it's just yeah. different, different effect. I gravitate towards gold. We're going to convert you. You probably are. So I saw a couple of the pieces that the silver was used in. And man, the silver is cool. I and I, but I don't typically like like gold doorknobs and chandeliers and all that. It's like 80s, but the gold micas in the counters looks really See, good. That's the thing. I'm not a gold person in general. In general, right. I am a silver person. But when it comes to paintings, actually, my first, my favorite color combinations would be like turquoise and gold. Okay. And nice. Like the, then different you know, shades and colors that go with that, like orange also goes really well with that. So this is kind of like, we got like basically our base colors down now. Okay. I kind of consider this. Uh-huh. Um, and in fact, we should probably torch this. Torch it out. Yeah. Now we're really going to get into it. Look at what it's, look at what it's doing just where you mm -hmm. mixed it together. 
Now this one, I was going to go with the teal, but actually Catherine picked this one up. So it's her fault if this sucks. If this doesn't work out. Okay. Got it. I have a fallback, right? Yep. I try to keep a fallback. Yeah. Catherine's usually it. Yeah, especially since she's not here anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's really easy. Dang, that's cool. We're getting there. We're I getting like there. that purple, black, silver, and white. Right. We have the blue. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Which is going to tie everything together. It's going to be the, the, uh, it's going to be the rug. Marcy's technique in using these colors was outstanding. Okay. What do you think, Chris? I want to see it. <laughs> All right, let's torch it again. I, I like tilting them. Is my problem is that sometimes I over tilt them. You know. Here we're heating up the epoxy so that when we tilt it, it'll move really well. That's gonna be. You got that with your short arms? <laughs> You're oh, awesome. Yeah, right? Heck yeah. You never know until you try. Oh, that is going to be sweet. I'm in love with it. I love tilting things. Mm -hmm. It is addicting. Do you do this with um, acrylics too? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so I mean, you can even just see in the little part that I did, how that all melded together. Oh yeah. And it's selling up together. Yes. So, let's see, this is a little cumbersome. You want me to help? You want me to help you? Maybe. Let's see. Marcy is 100% a go-getter. She's not afraid to get in there, get that epoxy moving, and make amazing art. Yep. Here, you know what? Let's help it along the edges. Okay. First, and then we'll. Tilted. Yeah, because sometimes it creates like a surface tension where it just never wants to go over that. Yeah, so especially if I don't want to tilt too much. Give it a slippery surface to go over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we gotta get this is going to be a pretty table. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Okay, so we need to go a little bit like to that corner this way. yeah that way yeah okay <laughs> here we go tell me when good okay now we review we're gonna go a little over here on the side cool. okay. <laughs> that's beautiful dang okay I always like to kind of review it as yeah. go, you know? All right. Let's bring it a little bit this way. Yeah, I, w I was thinking. Yeah. So do you want to go at an angle or just straight back? Straight. Or? Tell me when, Marcy. Uh, that is sick. I know, right? Almost. Okay. Oh, that's, that, that. So that was kind of washed out there. And I think now that really pops it, makes it pop, you know? Yeah. It's more bold. I even like what it did with that right mm -hmm. there. All right. There you go. Cool. Marcy, the mixed media girl, had a great technique using the heat gun. She really used that to finesse the color and get them to meld together. <laughs> That's sick. That is awesome. So Holy it's like cow. Custom table. Yes, right? it is. The thing that I always have to tell our customers is, if they say, I love that design just like that, I, I go, well, it's not going to be just like that. Yeah, there's you know? never a way to perfectly copy it. Every, every single one will be unique. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. So that is actually exciting to me. It is to me, too. And I think that's why customers love it. They're unique. Awesome job. Marcy is the bomb. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey, guys, uh, visit Marcy at Mixed Media Girl. Uh, go see her on YouTube. Go see her on Etsy. Go see her on Facebook. Everything, just look up Mixed Media Girl. You're going to yeah. find Marcy, the Mixed Media Girl. Yeah. Well, you could tell that you've done this once or twice. Yes. You're awesome. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. And until next time, you got this.
This, I don't know if they got this. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Visit StoneCoatCountertops.com to see all the products used in this video. That's sweet. Good job. You used up all the extra. You are the, the, the bomb.com. All right, I got that thing on a pretty level table and we'll, we'll check it out and then reverse it if we need to later.